Hello, hello, welcome back. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy, and this is today's sheet for the Monday Make. So those of you that are in my Facebook group, you will have seen this come up as today's make. I'm calling it Skullduggery, I think. Um, a little bit of darkness today. So I did think that in an ideal world we would maybe um, either print two of these and make a small journal cover and some tags or alternatively we would make a series of tags. So what I'm thinking is that while I am talking to you now I'm going to quickly turn my printer on and I'm going to print a second copy and then we'll have two as I suggested so I trust that everybody has had a really good weekend got some crafting and family time in there we go Right, so that will print out behind me. So what I'm thinking is, if I come roughly up here, first of all, like this, and take the two black and white images out, and then that one, and then I want to get nice straight lines here. So those of you that are better than I am with a pair of scissors, you will maybe want to cut it. But because I'm so rubbish at straight lines, I'm going to use my guillotine. Okay. Like so. See, I can't even use a guillotine properly. I'm absolutely rubbish. I think, if we're honest, we know that's because I haven't got glasses on and I can't even see properly. Yeah, no, that's okay. Um, so I'm just going to trim these. Like so, because I want nice straight lines, and then I'm thinking I'm going to make tags out of the two labels, um, and then I'm going to make a journal card out of the old um, botanical plate and then I'm going to make a bit of a cover out of many of the elements and see how we go so there you go so just trimming up here got them out of the way sorry if I just drugged the camera make you all a bit dizzy right so the first thing I want to do is obviously I don't need this so I'm going to stick this across the bottom here like so this is just a piece of a thin file folder just to give us um, to give us some sturdiness because this at the end of the day is only paper whoops that wasn't very clever was it it was nice to see so many of you joining me on the facebook live yesterday um you seem to like the idea of the project for the sunday lives rather than just one-off things so that'll be carrying on for a couple of weeks 
those of you that are not currently in the Facebook group and you'd like to join in, I will leave all the details below. So you can jump on there and get yourself some freebie prints if you'd like to. Join in some of the fun games that go on over there. It's a great group. There's some wonderful people in it. We do have a bit of a giggle, which is always nice. Sometimes life is just a little bit too serious. I'm running late today because I've had a bit of an outing. Been over to see my mum. She lives a little way away. Um, so I don't see her as often as I used to do. Um, but I've been and seen her today, which was nice. I didn't spread that glue out, did I? See, look. Oh, well, we're going to be cutting those anyway. Right, so while they're settling on there, what I then thought here was it would be quite nice, or I think it will, if we trim out this skull. See, fussy cutting again. Seems to be doing an awful lot of fussy cutting lately. I do apologise, because I know it's not the most interesting thing to watch. And then once we've got our skull out, I'm going to add that flower behind it. It's actually um, an image of a deal. That, you know, the sort of thing you have with the likes of salmon. But I think it does look a bit sort of eerie. So we could pretend it was a poisonous plant. This would actually, I don't know that the proportions would be correct, although I suppose you could print this sheet two to one, would work quite nicely with the Academia page that came out, was that last Monday, the Monday before? So it would work quite nicely with that, I think. Then I'm thinking if we do a, a bouldered, fussy cut on this one like this so I mean when I say bordered you know when you leave some of the white and you don't cut right up to the image like I just did with the skeleton you see the white board on a lot of um, you know the sticky ephemera that you get also, I think when you do this white border, it negates the need to take out that centre, which sometimes can be problematic. So if you do it this way, it looks like there should be some white and it doesn't look wrong. Well, that's my opinion anyway. No, Bo, no. I don't know if you heard her suddenly leap to her feet boo because the van's pulled up outside you know mummy's doing a video come on no barking give everybody a heart attack jumping out of their skin at you barking won't you see she's all excited because of course i've been out for most of the day at my mum's so she's all excited that mummy's come home and now mummy's gone to the paper table which she doesn't really approve of because she thinks I should be playing games with her. But I'm sure when I'm finished here, Mummy will come and give you a cuddle. Right, so there you go. Terrible traffic on the M25 this morning. Those of you that are in the UK um, terrible terrible problems um, 
all the junctions around Lakeside were closed. Great long tailbacks, horrendous. I sat stationary with my engine off this morning for about 40 minutes. Not often you do that on a motorway. Something to do with um, protesters or something. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. Right, so, oh, now I've got my thumb stuck in the scissors, that's ridiculous. Okay, so I've got my danger plant, my poisonous plant cut out, and I could maybe just add my skull on there, or do we want it the other side? Yeah, I like it coming that way, actually. But I don't necessarily like it on the blue. So I'm going to pull out some, oh, I was going to say coffee dyed paper. But I've got this lovely um, sprayed paper and I like that crease there. So I think I'm going to do it this way around and we'll make it into a page to go with our, our um, tags and things that we've got there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of ink around the edges, get a little bit of ink around there, just a little bit, not too much, don't want it really dark. And then I'm going to um, put this down first because I want skeleton on top of it. <clears throat> so let's get some glue on here remember to spread it out this time so we don't have that leakage problem like so um, we're going to put it this side, aren't we? Because we want the skull on the other side. Okay, a little bit of ink just around him. I'm saying him could easily be a female, I suppose, couldn't it? A little bit of noise coming in from the street now. I do apologise. Children are coming home from school. So that's the uh, noise that you can hear in the background. Not a lot I can do about that, I'm afraid, because it's just too warm to have the windows closed. So I've just spread out our plate. And then we've got this, like, We've got this skull and poison plant on our page there. A little bit of glue missing under the edge of that leaf. Oh, it was there as well, but it obviously isn't. So that's that one. Okay. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to trim this so that we've got our journaling card and our two tags as well now as a journaling card obviously don't want um, angled corners see that's a bit straighter so just nice square corners a little bit of ink 
and then that's that one so we've got our page and we've got our journaling card and then we've got two tags here Card to one side. Oops, we can use that again. That's tag one. Again, let's get a little oh actually let's cut the corners first because I want these as actual tags so take the corner off and that one lots of messy ink on this one because it's you know a poison tag and then this one just need to cut that a little bit straighter um, I'm going to take that side I think that one like so and then across there Move all those bits out of the way, and then we'll get some ink on this one. That's that one. Okay, and then on our new sheet, second sheet we did. We can make a bit of a journal cover and I'm going to do that by using the other half of the file folder now we can see this is much too big isn't it because that will be our standard page so let's quickly just trim this off So we've got a little bit of space. Round our pages. And then what we'll do is we'll build up a collage. So let's put that there so you can see that face and let's build up this collage so I think we're going to take all of these um, right I'm going to trim through there again exactly the same as I did before then I am going to take my tear roller see this is why I use my tear roller because I'm rubbish at straight lines Tear that down, cross there, so if we start this one as say there, about there, okay, and then 
pull those two off. Whoops, that didn't tear very well, did it? Oh, goodness me. That's better. Right, try that again. Okay. Okay, so we get these across here like this and then we can get that one, I think it goes the other way actually, I think it goes like that and I think our skeleton head We'll go over the top. There we go. And then I think he can probably go down the bottom corner. This one can go next to him. We'll get the egg timer in there as well and then I'm thinking maybe um, we can use some cheesecloth to give us a bit of an eerie background Maybe if you've got some pages that come from something like a medicine book or some stamps or something that have, you know, the poison sort of symbol on them, it'd be great for something like this. See, and I'm thinking, we'll put him there and him there, like... So, we'll get our egg timer. What's snoring I can hear now. Bo's obviously settled herself down next to me. She's obviously happy sleeping because mummy's home and it's gone quiet outside. In fact, it sounds beautiful outside. It's all birds chirping. They come down and sit on my window ledge, you know, it's absolutely delightful. You can just see them sit on the window ledge, through the window behind my desk. Doesn't quite go with the theme of what I'm making, but hey-ho. And then we could maybe get that under there, like so. So... I think this, you see, we've got all those scary skeleton things going on and I think if we maybe put some 
cheesecloth behind there. That's not cheesecloth, that's chill or tulle. Let's have a little look. Oh, there it is. So maybe if we lift them up, we get ourselves a bit. You must be able to hear those birds now, I would have thought. We'll get that there like so. Pole's just collapsed. Okay. So. Oh, here we go. Sorry, more uh, more noise in the street. Right. So. Let's get a little bit of glue. This is that cloud glue that I've talked to you a few times about recently. And we get that on there like that and then I'm just gonna pop this down I can pull the edges out pop this down do a little bit of stretch and pull as it were there we go and that last little bit I'll we'll get a, a bit of a collection going on the corners where there might not be complete pictures and then I'm just going to trim this off like so oops don't press the scissors down the wrong way Claire that's not good is it and then just press that in like so okay so now i'm just going to get a little bit of ink around these edges and then we are going to get these stuck down so we're going to start with this one aren't we in that top corner like so okay so because I'm sticking onto the cheesecloth, I'm going to use the cloud glue. It's a bit of a mouth for that. Cloud glue. And we are going to spread that out a little bit. And we're going to pop that up the right way in that corner. Like so. You obviously didn't get enough glue under that corner there we go that's that one okay and then oops on our our two labels that one and then this one so obviously I'm using exactly the same thing because it's just a second sheet but I just think you know it can help to tie everything together because we've got then the same images on the front cover as we're going to have throughout the journal in different places so I'm going to put that one there. Need to put some more glue in here, don't I? This is all but empty now. And that one across there, like that. And we know he's going there, but he's going to be at the front. And we know this is going here, but it's going to be at the back and this is going to be in the middle so we really want to get 
this one stuck to this one so when you're doing layering like this I find it can really help when you you know lay them on unglued and think about what you're doing this one needs to be stuck on as it were the left hand side so needs to be stuck right there so I'm going to put it down I'm going to pick it up just the egg time a bit and stick that on there then lift that bit up and stick that bit down so now they're stuck together I can turn it over and I can glue the whole thing to go on as one and it makes sure that everything's where I wanted it to be okay pull that up stick that down move him stick that down about there because he's not being tucked he's just going straight on top okay last bit and obviously if you're so inclined you could go back and add I don't know whatever you've got really you've got some bats or some rats or poison labels or whatever really works for you so i'm going to put the lid on my glow and we're going to have a little look at this so we have got this single signature journal cover started off as very thin but now with all that glow and that layer once we put something on the inside that'll be fine so we've got this journal cover we've got a page to go in which has the same components but looks different and then we've got a journal card and although they've not been stringed yet we've got two tacks there you go bit of inspiration to go with the freebie sheet as always thank you so much for joining me happy crafting i'll see you again soon bye for now